Hey everyone, Kristen Lustig here again. Um, hope you guys are all doing good. I just did a pour that I did not like, so I scraped it and I put my base back down. I uh, have black Artist Loft Flow Black thinned down on the bottom. Uh, this is a 12 by 24 canvas. It is thick sides, uh, gallery wrap. So I am trying to recreate some cells that I saw last uh, over the weekend that were black and blue, light blue. Uh, my Actually, I had my stepdaughter and my stepson's girlfriend over. Uh, they were I was teaching them how to pour. And my uh, stepson's girlfriend, <laughs> that's a mouthful, uh, she poured a really pretty one that has some really pretty blue and black cells in it. She also used red and gold. So I, I'm not sure how she got what she did, but it was really pretty. Anyhow, I'm going to try and do that. I think I'm going to do a, um, I, I'm going to do a, a uh, flip and drag this time and to see if I can get those black and blue cells to pop up. So I have my Artist Loft Light Blue, and I have Artist Loft Mars Black. These are all mixed with my uh, Glue All first, one-to-one, -one, and mix that up, and then double that amount with uh, Floetrol. This is uh, Artist Loft Deep Red. Don't have a label on that, sorry and Arteza Gold. So I am gonna put a little bit of that in there, but I mostly want it to be the blue. So I've sprayed my cup with the WD-40 silicone spray, that's in the black can. Sprayed my cup so that all the paint comes out. I already have my blue in here. All right, and then I'm gonna add some black. I'm just gonna drizzle that on the top. And then some more blue. Actually, let's get the drops in there. Because I don't put silicone in my bottles, I have to add it as I go. So if I want to have, uh, my bottle's not open. If I want to have cells, then, then I can add it. I like doing it that way because it gives me a little bit more control of what I'm using from the bottle. Um, all right, I want to put a little bit more black. And then I'm going to shoot some gold in there. I'm trying to separate everything a little bit with the black this time. And we'll see what we get. The one I just did, I, I think I made the mistake of putting the blue and the red together. And I ended up with some purple that looked gray. It wasn't a pretty purple. So I don't want to do that again. And I'm running out of my black, so I may have to put some. Yeah, I'm going to switch to my Payne's Gray. This is Artist Loft Payne's Gray. And I've got a little bit of iridescent medium in it. Finish this off with some more blue. I know it's a lot of blue, but I really want the blue to stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over here and I'm going to drag it across kind of up the middle. And because I sprayed my cup, uh, the paint will all come down. Shouldn't have too much left in there. I am going to go ahead and poke my cup up a couple times just to let the air, release the air and release the suction on the cup. Okay. It's already moving, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing. Ooh, a lot of paint there at the end. I'm going to grab 
some of, do I want to grab some of that? I'm just going to tilt. Let's grab some of that, bring it back over to this end. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit and then I'm going to torch. Stretch it out and see what we've got. I need to cover up this spot here that where I flipped and dragged it. Uh, pull some of it over. Mm, that's not going to be pretty. I'm not sure if I got enough silicone in this one. And I'm not sure if I like it, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna give it a torch and blow it a little bit and see what we've got. See if we can get some cells to pop up here. We don't have very many cells at this point. themselves. See if I can open up those cells a little bit. Stretch them out. Lots of good uh, negative space. And get a straw and blow some. Blow some of it out. See what we can get here.
flip it around so I can move the other side. My straw is clogged. Looks pretty cool actually. I'm not sure I like the the red just being down in that corner, but it really looks cool on that. Give you a close-up of that. That area there. Yeah, I think once the gold dries, it's gonna be pretty cool actually. And the more it sits here, the more cells are coming up. I should take the camera down so I can really give you a good close-up because it is really pretty. See, I think my hands are pretty dirty. I have to check my composition and see if I like what that going on. Got some blue, blue and black cells going on, which I'm happy about. Let's see if we can get something to pop up here. cool that blue and black and gold and then down here at this end we've got the burst of red really pretty cells going on here I think uh, Once that dries, it's going to be really cool. Okay, guys, um, that's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys next week.